Hey guys, today I will let you know how we can integrate ShipMozo with our website. Let's we begin. First, click on WooCommerce, then on Shipment Tracking. Now you can see the shipment tracking interface. Here, in Enable Shipping Providers, select ShipMozo. Then, in Default Shipping Provider, also select ShipMozo. After filling all the credentials, click on Save Changes. Now you can see Ship Mozo on our tab. Click on it. In this, first you have to configure the web hook. So copy the link and click on link. Now you can see Ship Mozo interferes here. Click on web hook notifications. You have to check that web hook notifications are on. Then paste the URL here and click on save. After this, check the options below that they all are enabled or not. If not, make them enabled. After this, click on Profile. Now in Profile, copy the private key. Back to shipment tracking page and paste the private key here. After this, copy the public key and paste here. After completing this, save the changes. Then click on test test connection. As you can see, connection is successful. As you can see, there are more options below on the shipping tracking settings. These are all optional. If you want to change the sync, you can do that. But if you don't want, you can set it to never. And in push order to ship mozo, you can enable this option also. These are options are optional. You can use it as per your wants. Now you can add product in your cart. Click on proceed to check out. Then click on place order. Here you can see our order too. Click on it. In this, we will push our order into ShipMozo so that you can also see your order at ShipMozo interface. Now go back to the ShipMozo interface. Here, click on orders, new orders. Refresh this page. And now you can see our order here. Now we can assign courier company to our order. From here, you can choose courier company as per your want. Click on ship now. Now go back to edit order. Now you can see courier company is added to our order. If you go back to edit order, you can't see the shipment tracking. This is because your order is not picked up by the courier company yet. If you want to know this from starting, you can copy AWB number from here. And go back to the edit order. Here you can see this pencil icon. Click on it and paste the AWB number here. After this, click on OK. Now you can see your shipment tracking records. 
Now you can see your shipment tracking from the starting of to the end. Customer can also see estimated delivery date on product page. First, click on WooCommerce, select shipment tracking. Then click on product page. First, you have to enable this option. After select ship mozo from here. And after filling all the credentials, click on save changes. After this, go to store. Click on product. Now you can see this. First enter your pin code of your area. Click on check. Now you can see the estimated delivery date on your screen. Now we will see how customer can also see the list of courier companies along with the estimated delivery date during checkout. First, click on WooCommerce, select shipment tracking. Then select checkout page. First you have to enable this option. After this, select ship mojo here. Now you can enter your PIN code and you can also add fallback rate. This rate will be shown when there is no courier available. You can also add discount amount here. And you can enable this option to see estimated delivery date along with the courier name and rates. You can also add processing dates according to your want. After filling all the credentials, click on save changes. Now go to store. Add a product in cart. Now click on view card. As you can see the list of couriers on your screen. You can also see this on checkout page. Now the list of courier companies are here. Now you can see your shipment details on your screen. Customer can also check the shipment details on my account. First click on my account. Go to orders. Click on track. See? Now you can also see here your tracking details.